This video is going to cover some basic security measures that you can put in place for your WordPress site. Now the four items we're going to be covering in this video is number one, we're going to replace the default ID number one with the newly created admin user account and I'll show you that here in just a second. Number two, we're going to keep everything up to date and I'll cover that in more detail here just as soon as we get done creating that new admin user account. And number three, if using older versions of WordPress for some odd reason, then I'm going to show you how you can hide the version number of that older version of WordPress you're using from potential hackers. And number four, doing regular backups of both your files and your database is a good thing, and I'll show you how you can tackle that pretty easily. So first off, replacing the default ID number one. What the heck am I talking about? Well, whenever you first install WordPress, it asks you to create a admin user account and a password. Well, that admin user account is assigned to the very first slot in the database, and that's ID number one. Logging into my cPanel control panel, let me show you what I'm talking about. Scroll on down to databases and click on PHP My Admin. And this is going to show you all the different databases that you have assigned to that one domain. And this is the one for the demo site that we're working on. And you can see right here at WP Users, we go ahead and open this up. It's going to give a list of all the users on that database. And right now there's just the one, but the ID number one is right here and it's assigned to the administrator. And that is a potential security issue. So we're going to get around that by simply creating another account inside of our WordPress dashboard by coming over to users, add new, enter a new username, email address, first name, last name, website if you want, password, and then under role, hit the drop down administrator. And that will assign this particular user to the next available slot. And of course, in this case, there's only one, so the next available slot will be ID number two. Then we'll come back in and delete ID number one. And we'll do that by logging out as our ID number one administrator user, logging in as the new administrator, and then deleting the old original administrator account that was assigned to ID number one. Pretty simple stuff, and it's so simple that this is a potential security hole that's easily plugged. So by all means, take a few minutes and take care of that. Now number two, keeping everything up to date. Now what I'm referring to here is keeping your plugins up to date when a new version of a particular plugin that you have installed comes out, update it. Likewise with themes and with the core WordPress files. Now the one thing about the themes and the plugins, those need to be updated immediately as soon as the new versions come out. As far as the core WordPress files, I'm in the camp that you should wait at least seven days before updating to a new version. But if it's listed as a security update, then go ahead and update that immediately. Otherwise, on new versions of WordPress, sometimes there's some lingering compatibility issues between the new version of WordPress and some plugins or themes. So let somebody else find out about those on their site, and that can take about three to five days. So again, new versions, wait a few days, Security updates, update immediately. Other than that though, update your plugins and your themes immediately. And number three, if using an older version of WordPress, you wanna hide the version number from the potential hackers because older versions of WordPress are known to have security issues. And that's why hackers love people that don't update their WordPress sites. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm in the Chrome browser, so if you're in a different browser, this might look a little different to you. But just right-click and go to View Page Source. And you can see here the version 4.3.1. What we want to do now is we want to be able to hide the version. Because if this says 3.2, then the hackers, doing just what I just did, will be able to gain access based on whatever security hole there was in that older version. So we want to be able to hide these version numbers. And there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can fiddle with the code that would require us to create a child theme and other time-consuming actions, or we can simply install and activate a plugin in a matter of seconds. Here, let me show you. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Come on back into our dashboard area. Come on over to Plugins. Go to Add New. And up here in the Search Plugins box, Type in Meta Generator and Version Info Remover. That's a mouthful. Then hit Enter, and it should be one of the first ones that pops up. Right here, Meta Generator and Version Info Remover. Go ahead and click on Install Now, Activate. And it does have an additional item that pops into the settings here. But if we click on that to go look at it, you can see by default, everything that we need is already done. But if for some reason there's something that you want to exclude from this, 
and you can enter those URLs right here. Let's come on back here to our home page and refresh. Right click, view page source, and you can see those version numbers have been eliminated. And lastly, number four, doing regular backups of both files and database. Now, what do I mean by regular? Well, that depends on your own situation. If you are regularly adding new content daily, then you might want to consider doing a daily backup. If you're only adding new content once a week or once a month, then do your backups accordingly. This can be done a couple of ways. An easy way is by automating this with the plugin. Come on over here to our dashboard area again. Come on back to plugins and go to add new. And there's quite a few plugins and third party tools that can do backups for you. But again, we're talking about both database and files. Do a search for Updraft. Full name is Updraft Plus, but yeah, that's right here. Updraft Plus Backup and Restoration. And as you can see by this brief description here, it's a complete backup. And you can do it manually or schedule it. The backups can be sent to Dropbox, Amazon S3, Google Drive, FTP, and it's fairly popular too. Go ahead and click on Install Now, Activate, and then come on down to Settings, and then click on Updraft Plus Backups. And between the updraftplus.com site and their FAQs, you've got plenty of information here on how to set this up and to put this to use for both manual and automating the backup process. Now, there are many more security measures that you can put into place to help keep the bad people out. But for now, the items covered in this video will help keep your site safer than the sites that do not have these basics in place. That's going to bring us to the end of this video on basic WordPress security. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.